Well, hi, welcome back to Sumatra on Base. Hope you're doing great. Today we're reviewing the LTD Surveyor 87, a PJ base uh, built very nicely. Now, LTD is owned by ESP. ESP makes some nice high end gear. It's quite expensive. These come in cheaper, although they're not at the bottom of the price pool. They're kind of in the mid range. The uh, finish on this one is quite nice with that rainbow crackle and the matte black pick guard. You have uh, volume balance and passive tone, vintage Seymour Duncan J and P pickups, a Goto bridge, vintage LTD tuners, and Alba body, maple neck, Macassa ebony fretboard, which is very nice to have some good fretwork and the dimensions are p base except front to back it's flatter and thinner so it's very very comfortable to play it still feels familiar but more comfortable than say a thicker p base if you're not used to that size of neck now there was a couple of things that i was um, very unhappy about with this base when it arrived but we'll discuss those at the end because I have a feeling then they're, they're not that common. So without further ado, let's have a listen to some examples of the bass in action and we'll talk a bit more about it. So there you have some sample sounds from the LTD Surveyor 87 bass. This bass has an Alder body, uh, maple neck, Macassar ebony fingerboard with 21 frets, vintage tuners, a Goto bridge, Seymour Duncan, vintage P and J pickups with a volume blend and passive tone. It has a P base width at the nut, but the neck is quite a shallow D shape, which makes it very comfortable to play. It still feels very familiar if you're used to playing a P base. It just feels very comfortable, particularly in this lower position here. And it's a nicely uh, finished base. The, the fit and finish are actually quite good. The fretwork is quite decent. I was able to get the action on this really, really low, to be honest. These pickups have a little bump in the lower mids and it makes the bass quite punchy. The only thing is the, um, being a single coil J, and one thing that I think has annoyed me a little bit, not, not a great deal, but it's there, it's, it's the hum that the single coil picks up because it doesn't have an opposing J in the neck position to, to hum cancel, right? Uh, and it can't hum cancel with the P. So, I'm trying to find out whether the the noiseless version of this, which I think is a stacked uh, coil, 
um, humbucking Jay. So I think that would that would be really good if it can if it can match with this P pickup, that would make the bass noiseless. So that'd be great. So we'll try that out. The only complaints that I have, and to be quite honest, in this price range, which was I think originally about $1,800 Australian when they first hit the shores here. They had a couple left. They ran a special on them, I think 12 or 1300. We decided to pick one up. I always liked the shape of the surveyor and I knew that ESP, who owns LTD, makes some very, very nice instruments. And we picked this one up and the finish is nice. The Macassar Ebony is beautiful, 21 frets, etc., etc. Um, the nut was not even cut, I don't think. It was just slotted. It was very, very high when it arrived. It was just a block, right? So, and then playing, playing up and down the neck, I noticed a lot of drag in places on, on the back of the, the finish. And I thought there was some sticky residue on it. So I tried to clean it. But as I looked closer, I noticed there was a very fine orange peel in the finish in places and when your thumb got to there it kind of got stuck right so i thought about sending it back and then because i knew they only had maybe one left and i think that sold anyway so i thought no we'll hang on to it and i'll fix that and i i went over it with very fine um wet and dry uh, paper and smoothed it out and now it's beautifully smooth and easy to play and i I cut the nut properly and, and adjusted everything. And it's a really nice low action, very playable, and sounds quite good. Balances well on the strap. Um, it doesn't balance too badly on, on, your, on your leg. Um, it may be a little tiny bit neck heavy, but that's, that's acceptable for this type of bait. Uh, all in all, a nice bass. I did contact ESP, I outlined the problems, they did offer the help, which was very nice of them. They came back to me very quickly, and they're sending these points back to their production, so they can uh, put steps in place to avoid this in the future. And I'm sure that most of their gear would have come out of that factory in pretty good shape. This one, they may have missed something in QC, but I'm certain they'll tighten that up. A couple of things that I could easily fix myself, but that's me. You know, if you're buying a base, you shouldn't have to be somebody that can repair the base. Uh, usually you're a player. Um, it's not a good feeling when you pull it out of the box and it has these types of problems. And in this price range, especially, it's not acceptable because I've bought Squires for a a third of that price and the finish is wonderful and the nuts are properly cut so i'm putting it down to a one-off that just went wrong and we'll leave it at that and i'm sure that esp will take care of it um, and that's in a nutshell the ltd surveyor 87 base if you like it go and check one out get it in your hands see how you feel about it if you own one and you've been using it for a while let me know how you've gone with it and what you think of it. And that'd be really great. And thank you ever so much for spending this time with me. I really appreciate it. Keep well, keep making music, keep playing bass, be nice to each other. God bless, and I'll see you real soon. And it's bye for now. Take care.